Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q1 of the weekly contest 223, uh, Decode XOR Array. Um, yeah, so this one is a little bit, um, for easy problem, it's a little bit tricky uh, because you're basically asked to decode something given an encoded version. So in theory, what they're saying is, you know, given this thing, decoded, right? Um, you know, given the original array. But, and the key thing about this problem is noticing that in an XOR operation, so because in general, you know, you have this, you, know, um, you have a function. So when you encode something, you get um, an, a coded, you know, message. And then to decode it, you have to do the inverse of that function, right? So basically, yeah. So to, and that that's the tricky part is that in the decoding part, uh, you know, in here they tell you how to encode it, but not how to decode it, right? Um, and th this requires a little bit of um, just knowledge in general, which is a little bit kind of makes this problem tricky, even though it's a easy. Um, it's that knowing that for an XOR, um, the way to decode it is by doing the same thing to it. Because um, the idea is that, uh, yeah, if you're giving a number A and you XOR it to a number X to, to, uh, so basically here, let me let me write it out here. Also make the font bigger. So basically, you know, you, you've given a, a number A and you're given some X and then you have some number B, right? So this function, this problem asks you to to try to figure out, okay, um, now you're given B, what is A, right? And it turns out that in this, um, you know, and the easy way to do it is just this, is you go to uh, B, some inverse, uh, I'm just calling it, you know, uh, exclamation prime. Um, hmm, what's the other? Uh, uh, X, right? And it turns out that in, in XOR, and this is not, I, I don't know, this is just become, this is a little bit of a trivia because so if you don't know it, it's going to be a little bit tricky and tough for you. Um, and it's something that I know because I've done similar problems in the past. Uh, I don't know that, like, you know, I don't, I don't know how to prove it if you didn't have an or, or, uh, otherwise. But yeah, so it turns out that the inverse of an XOR is just actually the XOR again. So you want XOR again. So that's basically the idea behind this concept. And once you realize this, well, the entire rest of the problem is just doing the algorithm that they tell you because XOR is the same. Where, okay, you start the first character in the, in the answer. And then for each character, you look at the last character and then you XOR it with the encoded array. And then at the very end, you return the, the answer away. And that's pretty much it. Um, of course, this is going to be linear time, linear space, because that's the size of the output is the linear space and linear time because you just go for a loop of the array. Um, but yeah, this is this is tricky if you don't know this XOR properly. So I don't know, but you know, maybe play around with XOR problems and you'll be able to familiarize yourself to kind of hopefully get it next time. Um, yeah, that's all I have. You could watch me solve this live during the contest. Next, I saw. I think I, my time was um, about yeah, about one minute. So yeah, bye bye. Hey everybody, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this problem and other problems on this contest. And thankful, I mean, it's been a while since I finished in the top 100, so I don't know. Uh, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oops, one button.